Welcome back. Welcome. We made it. The final box of the Double Masters Collector Case. That's right. This is box eight. Let's free the box. From what I like to call box prison with a box in a box. This is it. Our last four packs. Let's get them out. This has been a wild ride. This has been fun. This set is amazing. If you don't know, this box is from a sealed case of eight. And uh, it's been really fun to open, and I'm happy to show everyone what you can get out of a case. So let's open our first pack and get to it. If you haven't seen a collector booster yet, uh, I'm going to go through the first one a little slowly because I'll just explain what the contents are real quick. So first, we're going to get foil commons. We're going to get five of them, okay? You can get some good stuff like Rift Bolt. Even the Legionnaire finds its place in a, uh, what? Like a uh, Feather deck. Fifth card, we get two uncommons. Some of them are neat. Not all of them are good. See, right there. We get two borderless commons or uncommons. Like this Pride Mage, which has got great art. Oh, <laughs> which or this lightning bolt, which just is the best lightning bolt art I've ever seen. And then we get two of these uh, common or uncommon borderless foils. So let's see what we get. Hey, Richard Kane Ferguson, coiling oracle foil. Hmm. Mesmerizing. I'm just going to say it one last time. Mesmerizing. I know I've said it before, but it's just enchanting. All right. What's our second one? Seeker of the way. Still amazing art. If you play this card, pick up one of these. All right. So after the foil borderless, we get a foil rare. Hey, a foil grave caller isn't bad. Good card. Very good card. See some play. Then we get a borderless rare or mythic. In this case, it's not amazing. It's a grand arbiter with amazing art, just not an amazing card. And then after this, uh, we got we get a slot in this pack, which I call the swingiest foil etched. Are you ready? Hit or miss? It's the big gamble. <laughs> See, Zer the Enchanter. This is, this is the type of thing where you're like, oh, no, oh, I got a I got a foil etch Zer the Enchanter. See, but you can have sadness, and then right behind it, happiness. Let's see. Oh, okay. <laughs> not so much happiness. It is Richard Kane Ferguson. Um, great art, just not an exciting card. But we get a Grim Flayer. I'm still going to let you appreciate the foiling because I think Ferguson did a great job. And his art needs to be appreciated. Hey, Cat Dragon, who's also a treasure. Every Cat Dragon is a treasure in my heart. All right, pack two of four of our final box. Ooh. I'm gonna flip it over. I don't wanna I didn't like how that opened. Ooh, this one's this one's an ugly opening. Alright, five commons. Lava coil. Unearth. Good card. Growth chamber, good card. Scion of Darkness, also a good card. Had some value before reprinted in this set. Alright. Borderless cards. Rampant growth. It's first one of this box. Love it. Jeff Miracola, you did a good job. I appreciate your art. All right. Blood artist. This is my new favorite blood artist art. I don't care about any of the previous ones. This is the one I love. Now we get some foils. Rakdos. Canarium. And... A turf, so we get double bounce land in our foil slots. All right, foil grave color is what we started with. We're gonna move into an anger of the gods, and I'm gonna say grave color is better. Even these, look at this, look at that. That art, Wizards really does put a lot into these master sets. All right, borderless card. Let's show me something good. Oracle of Moldaya. That is not bad. This card has so much green on it. 
It's like overwhelming, but great card. All right, foil etch. Can we hit something spicy? The answer is no. It's just a thistle down leash. These leashes are fun to play, and I'm glad they're in here for draft, but they are quite disappointing when they take up uh, a slot in your collector box back. All right, let's see if we can get a borderless foil that's worth it. Oh, baby, we did. We did. We got a Ren in six. Foil borderless Ren showing up. That is in one pack of magic. It's not a cheap pack of magic, but this was in one pack of magic. I love it. Oil Ren and Six. All right, three out of four. Let's do this. Ooh. Every time I open up a box of this, it gets me hyped up. It just tingles down my spine. All right, five commons. Two uncommons. Richard Kane Ferguson art. Love my coiling oracles. Eternal Witness, we love you just as much. You're borderless. You're awesome. You're worth a little bit of money, so we like seeing you. And then, hey, what's better than the best lightning bolt art I've ever seen? Foil of the best lightning bolt art I've ever seen. Even these slots just have me enthralled. All right. This Boris Garrison holds a very, it's actually kind of a swingy slot. Uh, it's just a foil rare slot, but let's see. See, Rafik, not worth much. Gravecrawler, probably worth something. All right, little sadness. Let's have some happiness. Hey, I'm just happy to see more Richard Kane Ferguson art. So Marchesa of the Black Rose. Again, up close, this art. All the Richard Kane Fergusons have so much detail in them. It takes a long time. You got to really look at these to appreciate them. All right. Foil etched. We've had Xur and a Thistle down leech. Let's show me something good. Okay, or you could show me an Abzan Ascendancy and I can be sad. But hey, we've been here before, right? We had a Thistle down leech into a Renin Six. This time an Abzan into a Foil Surgical Extraction. Although not the amazing, amazing hit like a Renin Six. This card is still very good and what an art. What is this? Thomas M. Baxa? It's ridiculous. All right. We're here. We made it. The final pack of the entire case. This is it. I'm excited. It's been a journey. Uh, if you've been here the whole time, I really appreciate you being here with me through the entire case. It's been a very wild ride. Hey, Riftbolt. Let's see what we get. I'm going to be sad to stop opening these. It's brought me such joy. It's been so fun. I mean, how many times am I going to open a Burning Tree Emissary that's just this amazing? Oof. I'm a little speechless as this is the last time we're going to get to open these. Thought Scour. Pride Mage. All right, foil rare. Show me. Hey, surgical extraction. We'll take it. Borderless. Oh, glimpse the unthinkable. Great art. Again, Wizards pulled out all the stops with the art for this set. Foil etched. Actually, a foil etched as foretold is pretty sweet. It's not worth a lot. And no one's going to be like, oh my god, I can't believe you opened it. But I didn't have any of these. And I've, this is my second uh, as foretold I opened. And now I've got a foil etched one. This is the one I'm going to put in my Atraxa deck. Oh, man. All right. Last borderless foil or mythic. It's going to be slow. Ooh, it's a land. It's a very pretty City of Brass. Kind of an OG card. 
getting a borderless foil reprint. You get to sit next to Renin 6 and Surgical Extraction. OG sitting next to New G, right? That's it. This is the final box out of that case. Uh, so if you've been with me, if you made it all the way through the case, I was very happy to be opening this. It was a great time for me. I hope you enjoyed it. I will be doing a ton more on this channel. Um, Magic related, we'll be opening all kinds of things. Uh, we got more sets to come, but this is probably going to be the best set out of 2022. Uh, so it was a lot of fun to get to open so much collector packs of this set. So I'm just a little speechless, but thank you. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button the bell get notified when i uh start opening some more spice because this is the spice we're opening and i had a great time thank you for being here i'll catch you in the next one